today's episode is all about crazy animal births. Crazy animal births. For the sake of getting the basics, let's start with us humans. Growing up with the top down, push aside those velvet curtains. So basically, humans are going to be the normal in this discussion. So, in humans, you have eggs from the mom, sperm from the dad, they mix their genetics up, and nine months later, the mom gives birth to a little baby. But not all mammals give live birth. Let us not forget the duck-billed platypus. Yep, the platypus is a monotrin, along with four other echidnas, and they are egg-laying mammals. Wow. Now let's move on to fish. In general, yeah, parental care in fish is pretty unusual. Most of them just lay their eggs, they scatter them, and they head out. But there are still quite a few fish that have parental care. Now take, for instance, the cichlids. Now my favorite are the African cichlids. Basically, they take the eggs into their mouth mm -hmm. and they aerate them and basically incubate them until they hatch. Mm -hmm. But there are some frogs that take this to a whole new level. Take the gastric brooding frog. Gastric brooding frog. So this frog actually swallows the eggs, the stomach turns into an incubation chamber, and then when the little baby frogs hatch, they crawl out of the mouth. The problem with this is though that um, the frog went extinct in the early 1980s. But as of early 2013, scientists are playing Jurassic Park and are going to try and bring this frog back. Now for hammerheads. Hammerheads. In 2001, there was this mother hammerhead that they had in a big tank. And she never interacted with a male hammerhead, yet she had a baby. That means it was a virgin birth. That means there's no dad. Actually, this is just the first time we knew about it in sharks because it's fairly common in other things like geckos or different species of lizards. Parthenogenesis. And now for the grossest amphibian birth, the Suriname toad. Suriname toad. The males stick the eggs onto the female's back, and then the females grow this skin up and over the eggs so it kind of seals them in. So then what happens is when the eggs hatch, baby frogs like burst out on the back and they get out. It's like a living version of gremlins. In summary, there are many, many animals out there that don't seem to fit the mold that most of us have in our head of where babies come from. And of course, we like pointing out the odd. So stay tuned for more from us. Oh, oh, and just as a reminder, we make a whole bunch of videos, so check them out. And I'm not the only one that makes these videos. There's a whole team of us, and you can check out all of what we do on our new channel right here. So subscribe and see us every week when we release a new video.